The NFL Combine is basically an entrance exam for professional football players. Uh, it's comprised of a, multiple, uh, a multitude of different skills tests, uh, including bench press, broad jump, vertical jump, uh, various position drills. Uh, but the most recognizable test for a lot of people is the 40-yard dash. Now, the 40-yard dash is just a simple 0 to 40-yard acceleration drill. How fast can you get from point A to point B? Now, the logic behind it is it shows who has the ability to get up to speed fast from a dead start, which is how most NFL plays start, just uh, completely stationary. Uh, how fast can you get from uh, zero uh, to whatever your uh, top speed is? Now, if you're in the world of track and field, you know that acceleration and top speed are two different things. Maximum velocity is a whole different world and versus uh, acceleration. But the skill of acceleration is something that track athletes really have to master in order to get to that top speed. 40 yards typically isn't enough to show uh, somebody's top speed. That's not really how it ends up working out. But uh, the people that can practice the principles of acceleration well usually have pretty good 40s. The good news is anybody can learn those principles. Now, a lot of people might say, well, some people are just genetically faster than others. Yes, but genetics has a very vague kind of definition when people use it this way. So uh, where I have brought some value to the marketplace is kind of translating that word genetics into, you know, little pieces that can also be addressed through training. And so I've created a little bit more sophisticated of an approach to teaching acceleration and speed and it has shown a lot of promise. Uh, it has shown a lot of success with people of all ages, all races, all sizes, and all body types, okay? So when you break something down into the rules that apply for everybody, you can make a custom speed acceleration program to teach these athletes uh, how to find speed within themselves. Uh, because every car isn't built the same, every, uh, every athlete isn't built the same, but guess what? Most cars can go 100 miles an hour. It's just how they end up there. So you can definitely run a time that would be considered very respectable, definitely for your position, if you got the right cues and instruction. And that is where a consultant such as myself can be very beneficial. And just a two or three tenth change in your 40 yard dash time is like uh, scoring 10 points higher on the ACT or a few hundred points higher on the SAT. I don't know how they score it these days. It's been a while since I've taken it. Um, but you know, even as a student, I understood that being able to take a test well is just as important as studying the material. So knowing that you have to fill out every bubble and uh, you know, finish the answers in a certain amount of time, that actually improves your score because you come in preparing specifically for that task. So what a lot of the big box places, a lot of these uh, D1 top 100 prospects will go to these big box places and they will get the basics of how to do the test, how to complete the exam. Put your hands here, put your feet at this point and this point and push out and have your angles here, here, and here, and basically do that and uh, hold a forward lean as long as you can and then stand up straight and then just hold on for dear life. I basically just told you what Exos will tell you or whatever, you know, Michael Johnson performance now uh, closed. But the way I look at it is totally different. You are a machine and you can be t torn down and rebuilt and we can look at how you've built yourself so far in your college program. Hopefully you've had a good college strength and conditioning program. And we can tweak your strengths and your weaknesses to give you the best shot at accessing your top speed. And then when we teach you the concepts of how to take your machine and accelerate it through space, usually people are very, very excited about what that means. So I hope this was a good intro for you. Uh, showing you how important and how sophisticated training for these things can be and why it's important that you pick the right person to help you along that journey because you only get to take this test once and you might as well benefit the most from it. 
So again, my name is Alex. My background is in civil engineering. Uh, I also have been running Texas Movements uh, for the better part of uh, a decade now. And I've been coaching for more than a decade, both uh, track and field, as well as uh, uh, other sports, uh, such as you know Olympic weightlifting and uh, things like that. So sprinters, jumpers, lifters, fighters, I've worked and consulted with all of those. And the principles uh, that, that, that govern all those things are the same no matter which sport you do. I don't try to be a coach, I'm just a consultant, but hopefully something that uh, I've learned along the way can benefit you and we can exchange value that way. So thank you for your time and I'll see you next time.